Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and we've reached the final installment of the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This will be part 21, where we'll be showing you how to load the Horizon Hobby preset model files into an AR636 receiver. Now there are several reasons that you would want to use the Horizon preset configuration files in a new model uh, with uh, an AR636 receiver. Now, one of the most common reasons that I can think of is say you have a bind and fly model that you purchased and for whatever reason you crash that bind and fly model. Uh, in the event that that happens and you're able to recover the AR636 receiver, whether that's an AR636A or an AR636B, if you were to go the next Horizon plane that you buy, you could get the plug and play version instead of the bind and fly version. We could load the preset file from the aircraft. You know, if they have it in a bind and fly, they will make the, uh, the preset file available. You can download that preset file, load it into the AR636, and it's just like getting the bind and fly model, and you save your $30. Uh, the other thing that comes to mind is if you have an AR636 and say you want to put it into a, uh, you know, a similar aircraft, you know, say you buy a, a Cub from another manufacturer or a Cessna 150 from another manufacturer and you want to uh, have a good starting point for your gain adjustments, you can load a uh, a preset file from Horizon Hobby into your AR636 that is similar to the aircraft that you're installing it in that will give you a good starting point for your gain adjustments and allow you to, to be off into the races pretty quick. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started uh, with showing you where to download those configuration files and then how to load them using the, uh, the Spectrum programmer software. Stay tuned. So before we get started loading the uh, preset files into the AR636, we'll need to download those preset files from Horizon. Uh, now you can get these preset files from HorizonHobby.com off of the Spectrum uh, AR636 product page. But what I found is if we go directly to SpectrumRC.com, go to Air Receivers, and go to the AR636 product page on the Spectrum RC website, go down to Manuals and Support, and under Setups and Downloads, you'll see Receiver Configurations. Uh, now, we could go through the list here. When you hover over Receiver Configurations, you'll get a drop-down list with uh, a lot of the different airplanes. So here we see like the Timber X, the F-18 Hornet 80 millimeter. Um, but at the top of this list, they've got one called All Files. Now, these are relatively small, so I just recommend grabbing the zip file that's got all of the configuration files in it. Now, that will go ahead and download to our computer. So here in Google Chrome, uh, I can see my downloaded files here at the bottom of the window. I'll just click the arrow and show that in folder. And we want to extract that zip file to our desktop. So we'll go ahead and extract all. And that'll bring up this dialog box here in Windows 10. And, you know, Windows 7 still looks pretty similar if you're still using that. And we'll go ahead and browse and put this on our desktop. And we'll create a new folder called AR636 Setup Files. And click Select Folder, Extract, and that will go ahead and extract the uh, the folder to our desktop. And we can see here inside the folder, it's got you know individual folders inside of it that have tons and tons of airplanes in them. So most of, not all, but most of the, uh, your, your Horizon Hobby airplanes that have an AR636, uh, including the ones that have safe select and the ones that do not. So, um, 
let's go ahead and open up one of these individual files. Let's go ahead and open up the F18 Hornet, for example. And we can see that we've got the EFL 3950 F18 80mm EDF uh, so that SRM file, we can import that directly into our uh, our Spectrum Programmer software. So we'll close out of all of this and go ahead and open up the uh, Spectrum Programmer. And what I want to do is I want to click Import. And we'll go to the desktop here and go to the AR636 setup files. And then we'll see all those folders. So let's go to F18 Hornet. So let's say, for example, I crashed a, a timber or an F15 or whatever. I crashed a model that had an AR636A or an AR636B in it, and I was able to salvage that AR636 receiver. All right, and I don't want to replace that plane, so I'm going to get an F18 Hornet. Well, instead of buying the bind and fly, I can get the plug and play version because I've already got an AR636, and I'm going to show you how to load the, uh, the configuration for the F-18 into the AR-636 that you pulled out of another model. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and import this SRM file. We'll open that up, and now we've got the F-18 80mm EDF, which is the E-Flight uh, EFL3950. So we'll go ahead and select that. And the next thing that I'm going to need to do is plug in my uh, USB programming cable to my PC. We'll go ahead and do that now. And now we're going to plug in the receiver. So now we have cable connected, but no device. We plugged in our AR636 to the programming cable. We'll go ahead and apply power to the cable. And we're going to load this F18 80 millimeter EDF into the AR636. And once we do that, uh, that is now programmed our AR636. Once we select it, that programs our AR636 with the same presets as our F18 80 millimeter EDF, which is great. And that is all there is to that. Now we can take this AR636 receiver and we can install it in the F-18 uh, jet. And you just want to make sure that the pins and everything are going in the same direction as it would be if you were to have bought the bind and fly model and make sure that it's secured very well, you know. So use the, uh, the Gorilla Tape or, you know, epoxy, whatever you got to do to make sure that it's stuck in there really good. And uh, then you've got the same bind and fly uh, receiver that is installed at the factory and you can bind it the same way you would from the factory and everything will work just great uh, and that same method applies to any other uh, spectrum AR636 receiver as well you can use any of the model files uh, that we found in that zip folder all right guys that is it that is the final video in the spectrum ar636 programming series if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching and i hope that this uh benefited you be sure to stay tuned for a uh, for a conclusion video where i'll kind of wrap things up and put everything into perspective uh again thank you for watching be sure to like share and subscribe leave any questions down in the comments be sure to ring the bell 
so you're notified of new videos when they come out. Again, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.